Welcome to my little boat fishing video. Uh, first showing my equipment here, um, Bear Grizzly 50 pound recurve bow with a simple reel. Uh, this first little clip shows shooting a bullfrog which is right there on the shore. Boom. And there he is, shot right through the front legs. Yeah, it's the hind legs that taste good though. Next, I've just shot a common carp here. And uh, as you might notice, they fight really hard, especially compared to the Asian carp that you'll see a bunch of shortly. Um, Fishing from my kayak, which is a Wilderness Systems Ride 135 Angler's Edition kayak. It's uh, a big, you know, high capacity kayak. It works great for this application. Um, the seat rides a little low, so I just put a a boat kish cushion under my rear end to elevate myself a little bit for shots. Uh, it actually works better if you, you know, paddle around on your knees, but. It's awfully hard on the knees. There's that common carp. He's feisty. And coming up first to the Asian carp. I'm fishing a canal here, and this canal drains some agricultural fields that are adjacent to the Mississippi River. Now, recently, many of those fields were flooded, and the carp um, run up into those fields and spawn and eat and stuff. And see, there's an Asian carp. Isn't he ugly? So I think what happened after the waters receded is that these fish became concentrated in this canal. I don't know that there are that many of them, you know, under normal conditions in this canal, but uh, this day I went out, yeah, I have a fish whacker there to, to uh, finish them off. Here comes another common carp. Boom. So I have to pull these guys in hand over hand because there's no reel on my reel, so to speak. You can see the shadow of my bow there. I have a, an action cam mounted on the bow. It's a Polaroid action cam, and it's a pretty good, inexpensive alternative to probably the better known uh, sports camera that uh, you always hear about. It does have an extremely wide angle view, which many sports cameras have. So it looks like these fish are far away when I'm shooting, but they're actually really, really close. So a lot of my shots are, you know, maybe one or two feet away. Um, in some of these, you can see the fish. They'll actually be just under the surface, and you can see their white lips as they're, you know, sucking in water and pumping it over their gills and filtering out the little tiny bits in it. Part of what makes this canal so good is that it doesn't have a lot of current, so it's almost you know like a pond. So you get a lot of you know phytoplankton and zooplankton in there building up, and that's what these Asian carp really love because they're filter feeders. Bad fish, bad fish. Yeah, these introduced species, I don't want them to live, so I make sure they're they're quite dead. And you can probably see that one. Boom. I think in total I shot about 13 Asian carp, maybe three common carp, and a couple of bullfrogs in just one morning. So it was a very productive outing. 
um, you know, one of my best ever. I, of course, edited all these clips so you don't get to see my missed shots and I decided not to uh, put in the the ones that got away, the ones that fell off the arrow. Uh, although there weren't too many this time because my shots were so close. Shooting just a, a 50 pound bow, you know, doesn't provide a lot of penetration. Again, it's a little recurve, although I'm kind of proud of it. I've had this recurve since I was 16 years old. Uh, so it's kind of an heirloom because uh, I'm 53 now. And it still does the job. I modified the arrow a little bit. If you look at the tip, it's the sort of standard uh, tip with wires for barbs. And I cut them shorter and filed them off so I get better penetration. Uh, penetration is always better on these Asian carp anyway because they don't have very thick scales. It's much more difficult than the common carp, which have the really large, thick scales that are hard to get through. There, you can see that one in the water. Nailed it. These Asian carp are mostly silver carp. They're the kind that, that jump, although uh, later there may be one that's the uh, the big head carp. They're both uh, members of the genus Hypophthalmicbees, which means low-eyed fish, and that's what makes them so darn ugly. Their eyes are way low on their heads, and it makes them look, you know, really stupid. Or well, this one's gonna get a, a spanking. Carry that little baseball bat for a reason. Now the kayak allows you to to sneak up very stealthily on the fish because you can paddle along a little bit and then just glide and you just you coast into these schools of fish and they really don't appear to perceive you unless you make sudden movements or something. So, you know, you get pretty close and, and then you take a shot. Now there might be a school of ten, but you only get to shoot one because once you take a shot they all scatter and they don't come back um, for a long time. I, I fished all the way up this canal and you know killed many fish, but on the way back only got one because uh, they had all scattered and uh, they were a little too spooked to uh, to come back to the surface. I gotta apologize for the crazy perspective of the camera. Again, it's mounted on the bow, so however I turn the bow, that's the camera angle you get. And I try to remember to, you know, aim it at the fish or whatever I'm doing. That's a pretty big one right there. That's a through and through shot. Here comes another Asian carp. Got that one right in the shoulder. At this time, I did not have a special rack for my bow or anything. I would usually just uh, set it down in front of me and paddle a little bit, and then when I saw a fish, I'd pick it up and get ready. There's another one in the shoulder. A 
these Asian carp don't fight too hard. Uh, they're not difficult to pull in unless you get a big one or something. It is a lot of fun though. Uh, the Mississippi River is very infested with these Asian carp and I'm sure I barely made a dent in their population. Yep, got some water on the lens. This guy's playing hard to get. He's a flopper. Turn around. Turn around so I can whack you. There you go. One more for the road. Honk. On to the next one. Ready, aim, fire. It was a pretty hot day and I'm dressed for the sun so I've got long fishing pants on and uh, a short sleeve lightweight fishing shirt and uh, a big dorky hat which uh, you'll see somewhere. I, I got a picture tacked on the end. Uh, so I was able to stay fairly comfortable. I've got bottles of water, a little bit of food, uh, suitable for the day's outing. And here comes another big one. On to the next one. I'm shooting the standard three finger glove, even though I have the, the fingerless um, devices on the string, just because I was getting so much shooting and I didn't want to pinch my fingers. I also have uh, an arm guard on the left arm because shooting from the boat you take shots at some odd angles and you can ding your arm with the bowstring. Now this is the biggest fish I got on the day. Yeah, here's looking at you right in the eye. This was uh, a 32 inch Asian carp which I measured on my little measuring tape you can see along the side of the boat which is handy for any fishing kayak. Bang, bang, bang. Hey, there's that funny hat.